For this video, we will be going over how to create a free body diagram. To make a free body diagram, first, navigate to the frame of interest. Using the line tool, outline the skeleton of the performer. Use a triangle to represent the hips and the shoulders, and then use a line for the spine. If the spine is curved, go to the line menu and select the poly line tool, and then draw a shape that best represents the spine. And although Kinovia has pre-built human models, avoid using these as we're trying to represent the bony structure of the individual. Then, to represent the head of the performer, long click on the line tool to access the circle tool. Now, right click on the lines to change the color on one side of the appendicular skeleton. This makes it clear to which side of the body you are referring to. It is also important to include force and movement vectors to your diagram. For this project, all free body diagrams should include the force of gravity. This is done by using a circle to represent the center of gravity, and then using an arrow to represent the direction of the force of gravity. It's also important to include action and reaction force pairs. They can be represented by using different color arrows. In this example, you can see the action and reaction pair at the feet of the performer. Movement vectors should also be included at the torso and at each limb of the performer. These are used to show change in position from the previous frame to the current frame. Also, if limb segments are moving in different directions, they must be represented by multiple movement vectors. Finally, it's important to provide a table of contents so that each line and vector can be easily identified. Now to do this, draw a line or an arrow at the side of the frame, change it to the appropriate color, and then hit the text button to add a label. By default, the right side of the individual should be considered ipsilateral. 